going on everyone? DSP here uh, with a uh, day two update, or day two. Yeah, today's technically day two of final round, uh, Saturday. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about what's going, what's going on, what happened with the matches with me that I played in, um, and uh, basically what to expect, what's coming up. Well, first of all, just so everyone knows, um, there was no footage allowed to be taken today by anyone. It wasn't like just me. Basically, they made an announcement right at the beginning of the day and said, listen, we're trying to make a final round DVD. Uh, and so we don't want anyone filming matches, especially on, you know, the stream, what Spooky was streaming, because that's the direct capture footage they're going to use to make the DVD. And Spooky also is going to release some of those other matches online. Obviously, it's his, you know, he made the stream, he does it for free. He's going to try to hopefully make a buck uh, with, uh, with kind of similar to what I do with Machinima. He's going to try to do the same thing. So uh, all the matches that are going on right now on the stream... Those will be up uh, shortly. Uh, follow Team Spooky on Twitter, and I'm sure he's going to tell you when those are up. Um, so anyway, uh, I was going to record some of the Super Turbo and the HDR, but what ended up happening was HDR was actually on a second stream, and unfortunately I didn't know how to tell anyone how to get to that at that time. Uh, and Super Turbo, they were recording that for the DVD as well. So I said, you know, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Listen, day one I got all this, this uh, footage of these, you know, the the pool matches for teams, for Marvel, for uh, Super Street Fighter 4, you know, it's more than enough good footage, you know, I'm not freaking out or anything like that, and I understand these guys, you know, are trying to recoup a lot of the costs that they, they spent getting this venue, whatever, to make a DVD, that's great, so, uh, you know, no harm, no fault, I didn't mind that they told me not to record, that was perfectly fine, uh, so how did I do in the tournament? Well, <clears throat> first of all, let me just tell you, that ballroom, well, it's not, I don't know if it's a ballroom, technically, it's more like a convention center room, but, uh, it is packed to the brim with people, and when you, uh, when you hear that Marvel 3 has something like over 320 entrants, and Super Street Fighter 4 had 308 entrants, I'm sure some people crossed over between the games. I was one of them. I'm playing both, but I'm sure there were also a lot of people who weren't playing both. That means there's probably anyone for 500 to 1,000 people in that room at once, which is pretty insane. Uh, and so it is kind of cramped in there. It's not overly hot unless you're standing in a crowd like trying to watch a, a match that's going on but it is kind of at least for me because my back and you know everything going on my, my arm and everything it is kind of uh, tiring to say the least um, uh, excuse me see I burp at home and I burp out on the road too and nothing changed um, so how did I do in my matches well in Super Turbo and HDR I made top eight in both. Um, in HDR, I ended up losing. I, it was funny. I beat someone, and then I fought Jason Cole. Well, well, actually, you know, I should probably do it in order. I'm being stupid. In Super Turbo, I got sent to losers by Jason Cole, and then I played all the way up to this, the match for, I believe it was fourth place, and then I goofed up. I was playing Ultra David, and Ultra David has a really good Honda, and I beat his new Honda, and he picks old Honda. I'm like, what the hell could old Honda possibly have? So come to find out, old Honda not only has a ridiculously fast and damaging sweep that does like chunks of fucking damage, but also he has a really easy to do throw trap that does massive damage, and I was just totally f fucked up in the match, and it's my fault, you know, that I lost. I, there's no reason for me to lose that. I definitely should have won it, and I, I uh, goofed up and lost that match. So I got, I believe it was like either fourth place or tie for fifth, something like that in Super Turbo, and then above me was Arturo, who then actually lost immediately to Ultra David as well. And then he played Cole, and then Cole played Tokido in the finals. Um, then in HDR, uh, actually HDR, just so everyone knows, I don't play it. HDR is a Super uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. I do not play the game. I only, before this tournament, I only entered it in two tournaments ever, and that was when it was brand new and no one even knew, you know, anything about the game. Um, I don't like it, and the reason is they took Super Turbo, which I think is a perfect fighting game, and they did weird tweaks to it that really made balancing issues and stuff just silly decisions that, that people made designing that game. So as you know, I, I said I don't play it. Uh, I did enter the tournament, but I ended up losing to some random guy uh, who mirror matched me with DJ, and he was doing like this weird stuff. And also, I couldn't tech hit any throws. He was throwing me, and I would go, I swear to God, I'm going crazy on the controller, and I'm getting chunks of damage taken away from me, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, that game is just really weird, especially on PS3. Everyone, It's been proven on PS3, HDR has input lag and drops frames, so it's actually really bad. Plus, the speed. The speed is way slower than Arcade ST, so it's really a, a really weird game to play. So I lost to that guy, then I went on a tear through losers. I ended up playing Jason Cole, and I said, oh, you know what, I'm going to get my revenge for him beating me in SD, and I did. I actually beat him in HDR and eliminated him from the tournament. But then I had to fight Tokido, and I fucking lost, and I'm pissed about it, but there's nothing I can do about it now. It, uh, it was a good match, 
He pretty much destroyed DJ because uh, I don't know if in, in real ST if it would have went that way, but I was pretty angry because a lot of the stuff that I used to do in normal ST to stop wall dives wasn't working, and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? Um, but anyway, so yeah, so he beat me at my DJ, then I went to ROG, uh, or Boxer, I should say, I guess. I did pretty well against him. I beat him a match, and then finally the last match was down to the wire, really close. But here's what happens, right? He starts doing HD Remix things that I'm, I don't know, like, Vega has a fake wall dive in that game, and he did it right in front of me. I was like, what the fuck is that? I've never even seen anyone do that. And also, in HD Remix, what happened was they, they drastically toned down uh, Boxer's headbutt. So, number one, it's extremely slow now. It comes out super slow. And number two, it's nowhere near as good. It says it's slow. It doesn't do as much damage. It's not as invincible. It's just not a very good move, considering how good it was in Super Turbo. And because they did that one... Tokita was doing his wall dives with Vega as he does. It's all he pretty much does in the match. He pokes a little bit and then wall dive, wall dive, wall dive. I mean, everyone could do that. But I couldn't do shit about it because I couldn't get the headbutt to hit him because the headbutt sucks in HD Remix because they toned it down. So I was pretty fucked. Um, I'd like to play him again, but unfortunately there's not going to be any time because there's so much going on in there right now. So now on to the other tournaments. Uh, in Marvel 3, I did okay. I think I beat like three or four people, but... I just lost to random people. Um, I definitely have not had enough time to put in the time in that game to know exactly what I'm doing. I was The first guy I lost to was such a bad match. I was dropping my combos left and right with Sentinel. It was ridiculous. Like a very basic air combo. It's launch, one, two, three, and then when you land, off the ground with a rocket punch. I mean, you've seen me do it in my mission mode videos. You've seen me do it online. And then when I was playing this guy, I couldn't do it. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, and then the next guy that beat me... He was hitting me with stuff. I don't know what he was hitting me with. Like, he had zero, and he would do the clone super, and then he would start... All of a sudden, it just hits. And I'm like, well, I don't understand, because I'm holding back on the joystick, and you're attacking me, but I'm getting hit. Like, I can't do anything but block, and that's exactly what I'm doing, yet I'm getting hit. There's a lot of stuff in that game that's like that. Another problem with that game is there's so much shit on the screen sometimes, you can't even tell what hit you. Like, there were, the, there were people who were calling out helpers and it's rushing me, and I don't even know what's hitting me, and that's bad because I, I can't learn if I don't know what's hitting me. So I really need to put in a lot more time with that game if I'm going to be competitive. And being the, the fact that because my arm has been so messed up that I basically played zero times. It was only the arm as well. As you know, all this past week I've been very sick uh, trying to get over the cold I caught at Winter Brawl. Uh, I was unable to practice with anyone offline, so I didn't learn anything about the game. In fact, coming here, I was so rusty, I played a couple of games, and finally I warmed up, and then I was starting to remember how to play. So, unfortunately, I didn't do very well in Marvel 3, but that's kind of what I expected. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're going to do well, you have to practice, and I haven't been practicing because I've been sick. Um, and then in Super Street Fighter 4, I, I, honestly, I was doing really well. I, I lost my first match. To a Makoto, because I was, by the way, I'm picking Hakan for the entire tournament, and uh, I lost my first match to a Makoto, who I had no idea how the fuck Makoto even plays in that game, because I don't really play it, and it was a close match, but I got beat, and then I, I ended up beating three straight people with Hakan, which was absolutely ridiculous. The last guy, he got gypped, I think, because I was in the corner blocking, he was attacking me with Kami, and he does a dive kick with Kami, does the dive kick, and I'm, I go to do my ultra, and I do it late, I know I missed the timing, but it still comes out. So he lands with Cammy and is just standing there doing absolutely nothing. My Ultra comes out and he goes, whoop, and loses the match. And the guy's like, and I was like, I know, I don't know what happened either. Like, I'm just as confused as you are. That was really fucking weird. Maybe he accidentally tapped up or something. Uh, I have no idea. But all I know is somehow it beat a standing opponent. That Ultra 2 that I used with Hakan is only supposed to be an anti-air. Whatever, it was really random. But after that, I went to Jason Cole, who was actually running the bracket, and I said, uh, you know, who's next? And he says, well, I have bad news. Tokido has been in the Marvel 3 team tournament all day, and he's been playing on the stream all day. And if you watch the stream or you're watching the stream today, you know that. Um, he hasn't played any of his matches in Super. And guess what, Phil? He's in your bracket. So that means he has to play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 matches first. Then all the losers of those matches, if he, you know, loses every, or if he wins every match, have to play their matches and their matches. And he shows me, and basically I would have to wait like 2 to 3 hours to even keep playing. I said, you know what, fuck this. I'm not... You know, I'm not going to stand here for three hours in a super crowded room, tired, hungry, you know, for a game that I know I'm not going to, you know, win or anything like that. I might do well. Sure, I might beat a couple people, especially if I switch over to Ryu. I might have done a lot better, but I wasn't really expecting to do well. Honestly, I, I wasn't going to register for that game. I had 
uh, registered for it online like a month and a half ago. I completely forgotten. And they started calling me for it. I was like, oh shit, that's right. I actually paid to play this game. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I came here. I did I did what I intended to do, at least. I, I, I've gotten myself back into a competitive vein. I was a little disappointed at Winter Brawl because of my arm that I had to, to fall about everything. I couldn't play in anything. So at least now I'm back. I feel like I'm up to speed. And if I really want to get back into the competition heavily. Like, for example, if I want to go start playing Super Turbo again in, in tournaments, I'll do well. Same with HDR. I'm sure if I learn a couple of the weird things that are different about HDR, I'll probably do well. Marvel 3, I need to practice. I really do. If I'm going to win in that game, I need to practice. And there are people in Connecticut who want to practice. The problem is, like I said, I've been sick. I haven't been able to do it. Uh, but now there's no tournaments coming up. I mean, there is a tournament next month. I believe it's in Ohio, but I think I'm skipping that one. I think the next tournament I'm going to go to is uh, Keats Tournament, uh, Ultimate Fighting Game, I forget. It's UFGT or UFGC or something like that. That's going to be in Chicago. I'm probably going to go to that one. It sounds fun. And uh, <clears throat> I think I'll probably be able to get some fun footage out there as well. Uh, plus, Chicago is a really cool city. I've been there before. I went on vacation there. Well, not vacation, but we went there two years ago for Midwest Championships back when Jason Wilson was holding it out there. And it was a lot of fun to go to the city. So we might do it again this year. Go, you know, go to the tournament, but then go tour the city as well. Um, but yeah, so that I'm thinking may be the next major tournament that I attend. So that gives me roughly two months that in between new games that are coming out, because there are a lot of new games coming out, um, I can practice uh, Marvel 3. And what I think I'm going to do is start, you know, this week, start seeing who in Connecticut can play, who wants to play on a consistent basis now that I'm, I'm better, I'm not sick anymore. So uh, that is the plan. Uh, I was very, you know, good tournament. Uh, today I'm done. I'm not going back in there. It's too freaking crowded and nasty in there right now. But I think what I'm going to do is get a great bite to eat, relax here, maybe wash up a little bit, and then I'm going to play Dragon Age. Uh, I'm going to play Dragon Age 2 tonight, and I'm going to be uh, uploading that to DSP Gaming, so we're going to have the continuation of Dragon Age tonight. Um, and... <clears throat> Tomorrow, I'm on the fence. I want. I definitely want to watch some of the finals, but I don't want to be in that crowded ass ballroom. Like I said again, with with my back and everything, it's okay to be in there for a little while, but with that many fucking people in there, it can really be you know just not pleasant. So I don't know. It's up in the air whether or not I'm going to go in tomorrow. Um, more than likely, everyone's going to want to be. As you saw today, a lot of different people on commentary. I actually didn't even want to jump on commentary, but I was just sitting around, you know, in that area, and then there was no one to do commentary, and I said, all right, sure, I'll do it. So. I did jump on a little bit today, but not too much. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know. I may or may not be involved with the tournament tomorrow, depending. Hell, I might just sit in my room and relax and watch it with the, watch the stream. Who cares? You know, right? So, uh, so yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, But outside of that, the good news is, I mean, I'm in Atlanta. Maybe I'll take a taxi to downtown and just walk around. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just sit here and play Dragon Age all day, because it would just be nice to... Uh, to be somewhere where you can relax and you know it's a different environment it's good because you know because I live at home and I work from home sometimes you can kind of feel claustrophobic like shit you know I need to get out and uh, you know this is a good opportunity at least for me even though it might be oh no another day in the hotel it might be a good thing for me so uh, we'll see what happens but I, I'm, I actually am dying to get back to Dragon Age 2 I don't know I've just I've got hooked on it now and uh, yesterday I actually wanted to play some of it but because the tournament had run so long I didn't get to Today I'm definitely going to get to, which is pretty cool. So, uh, all right, so that's it from me. Uh, I guess this is me, like, kind of signing off from final round in the competitive aspect of it, but I'll still be here for the next day and a half uh, until I fly home midday on Monday. Of course, problem being, since all flights have been delayed recently, I might, who knows what time I'm going to get home on Monday. But, uh, yeah, so Dragon Age 2 coming up. Keep in mind there's other new games coming up this week, including Homefront. Uh, and I think there might be another one, but I can't remember. And then the next couple of weeks, there are some new games coming out. So, uh, all right, that's it. I'm DSP. Hope you enjoyed my final round coverage. Uh, and uh, I'm hungry, and I'm probably going to order something to eat right now. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So thanks a lot. DSP signing off from final round. See everyone later. Ugh. Ow. <laughs>